In this video, we're gonna be talking about a balanced bridge circuit. Commonly, you'll see a balanced bridge circuit in a Wheatstone bridge, which we use to determine very small resistances. So the way that this works is we have four resistors, one, two, three, four resistors. And we're gonna assign some values to each resistor except for one of them. And we're gonna show you how to determine for the fourth one. So let's say that this is 10 ohms, this is 20 ohms, let's say this is 3000 ohms, and let's say this one is unknown. What we need to do now is figure out what this one is going to be. Now, if we know that this is a balanced bridge circuit, basically what we're saying is, is from this point here and this point here, if I was to measure my voltmeter across these points, if I was to measure my voltage across this, I should read zero volts because whatever the voltage is going to be here should be the same here and the voltage here should be here as well. So we can build a very easy proportion to determine what this is. Let's go about doing that right now. So if I say that 10 is to 20 ohms as 3000 is to X, that is how we determine our ratio. So then we're just gonna take that, we're gonna cross multiply and divide. So I'm gonna go basically here is gonna be 10 times X is equal to 20 times 3000. So if I do that, I end up with this in the formula. Let me just write this up for you. 10 X equals 60 K ohms or 60,000. Then X is gonna equal 60 K divided by 10. Therefore, X is going to equal 6K ohms, right? So then we can take this one here and replace it with 6,000. And we'll change that to six, oops, 6K ohms. So and you can see that the proportion actually works out because 10 is half of 20 as 3,000 is half of 6,000. So the proportion works out. This one was a pretty easy one to work through, but it will work for you every single time just so that we know that we want in a balanced bridge circuit, this voltage and this voltage will have to equal each other. This voltage and this voltage will have to equal each other. Therefore, the proportions have to be the same, which is why this is half of this and this is half of this.